or I wanted to wait per soccer talk, but I couldn't wait because I wanted to wait for Europa League. It's I'm shooting on Thursday, so it should be today, and I think the boat all games are today, or it might be I don't know when, but I really wanted to wait, but I couldn't because of what happened in Champions. I just wanted to talk about Champions, so yeah. Today is Europa League, both games. Yeah, both games of the semifinal are today on Thursday. So, it's Chelsea versus Frankfurt and Valencia versus Arsenal. Chelsea and Frankfurt are tied 1-1. So, we'll, and they're going to be playing in, uh, it's called Stanford Bridge, I think. Is it, still, is it, is it Stanford? I don't know. Chelsea's home. And then Valencia versus Arsenal. Wow, I was right. Stanford Bridge, yeah. <laughs> totally guess that. I'm not, I'm not, I forgot all this, I forgot a lot of stadiums, but... And then Valencia will play Arsenal home um, in El Mestalla. So there's that. Theirs is 1-3 in aggregate. So Arsenal has pretty... I mean, they don't have home advantage, but they're, they have advantage of, you know, on goals. Plus, if they score a goal, it, the away rule goal in Europe is, is there. But yeah, Champions League happened uh, two days ago, and it was... It was crazy. I saw the Liverpool versus Barcelona game. I had to watch the Tottenham and Ajax highlights. So there's that. But it's all right. It's all right. The highlights pretty much show highlights. You know, <laughs> I don't know what I'm saying. But uh, let's talk about Liverpool and Barcelona. Man, this was crazy. These two games are crazy. I'm not lie. They were crazy, and it got me excited. Uh, so Liverpool was the bottom. You know they didn't have advantage. I mean they had, they, yeah, they, they were they, they were at a disadvantage, but they were playing in Anfield, so there's that, there's that advantage there. But it was three nothing on aggregate. They lost three nothing at Camp Nou. So I thought, I mean, even I thought, you know, Barcelona had it as. I mean, I've been saying it that Barcelona was my number one pick, but you know, uh, my mistake was to. Uh, Forgetting about how, you know, not so well Barca does in their away games, but, or maybe it's under pressure, I don't know, maybe they get too confident, but everybody knows one of the craziest comebacks, uh, Liverpool, uh, and Liverpool is known to have comebacks, you know, they did, they did it with uh, Milan back in 2005, I believe, and then they did it against, who was it, was it Roma last year, who was it? They had another comeback. I can't remember who, but they had another comeback. They have, they had. This is the third craziest comeback Liverpool had. So, yeah, Liverpool is known for comebacks, and uh, they definitely don't walk alone. They walk together. <laughs> There's a lot of things I can say. There's a lot of stuff I saw, and it was and some stuff were hilarious, some stuff wasn't, man. Some memes, you know, with the memes these days, the memes, it gets crazy. But uh, but yeah, man, I feel I feel for Messi. I mean. I read that he did he, when he went to the airport. Some fans confronted him, and you know he squared up, <laughs> as you should. If some people always you know come and bother you and stuff, you know if they're getting in your face, you should always square up, defend yourself. Especially in today's world, it's crazy. Um, or maybe you shouldn't. Maybe I don't know. It depends on the situation, but uh, you know I like it when you always square up. You know, there's a thing when uh when when. Because I, because I watch boxing, you know. I mean, recently, Canelo fought Jacobs and, you know, you know when they're, like, cl clinging? Uh, it's pretty much like hugging. Uh, he grabbed, Jacobs grabbed Canelo and then he hit him. You know, that's not that's not cool. That's not allowed. And then Canelo, you know, struck back. You know, he, he didn't let himself, he, he didn't let himself, you know, just get taken advantage of, so... There's that. That's what I like about Canelo. He'll he'll square up when you do something to him like that. So that's cool. Oh man, I, I am still sick, so I got some little mocos. You know, I got some mocos, but we'll get through this. Uh, so yeah, when Messi you know squares up, that's cool. Um, kind of respect that for him. But you know what? That's uh, what's also crazy is that uh, when I read the comments on a lot of these things, like on videos and highlights on uh, on like posts. Um, What's crazy is people, and I didn't notice this, you know, I noticed this. People, you know, when Barcelona wins, people, you know, say it was because of Messi. It was the Messi magic, you know, it's all Messi. 
which I can kind of agree with, you know, like a lot of times Messi does do things that, you know, get Barcelona the win. And, but you know what's not cool either is that, because I'm on both sides here. You know, the other part of it is that when they lose, they don't say it's Messi's fault. Um, they just say it's, you know, like recently they said it was Coutinho's fault. That Coutinho's useless. Uh, in away games, he's useless. Coutinho is not a good player. He's he's a waste of, of a player here for Barcelona. Um, or they blame the coach, Valverde, which, yeah, you can do that as well. Like, you can see that uh, he made some... Strange, strange calls and strange, uh, you know, lineups and formations, you know, maybe against, you know, I don't know if he got overconfident as well and said, you know what, we're going to have it easy here. Let's just, let's just play it as it is, whatever. And that's not the kind of mentality uh, you want to go in there with, you know, in a semifinal, especially in a Champions League final, a game like this. You want to, you want to still give it your all. No matter what game it is, you should be always playing it like if it was a final. And I think that's what uh, I think that's what Liverpool did. I think you know Klopp, he was smart. He said, I think he said it before on, on his post interview, but on post interview game he said, you know we're missing uh, Salah. We don't have Salah. We don't have Firmino. That's our two best players. What do we do? What are we gonna do? Well, let's put in these these other guys who can play the, the positions. Yeah, we're gonna put these guys obviously, and you know I'm just gonna tell the the lads here. Uh, <laughs> I said lads playing too much FIFA. Um, just, just play it fine, just lose with dignity, you know, lose, like, with pride, you know, just do whatever you guys can out there, play your game, play your football, and, you know, just give it your best, and they did, look what happened, <laughs> for nothing, my favorite goal was the last goal, that fourth goal, that corner, that was so slick, man, that was so slick, I like that, man, I love that. That was so awesome. It was just like, whoa, 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 what just happened? <laughs> you know, and they get scored on Ter Stegen, man. His reaction was crazy. But that's the thing. You guys should all, they, they should always be paying attention. To, you know, in semifinals, they should always be focusing. I felt like Barcelona was not doing that. You know, I don't know if it's just me or what other people think. Maybe you know, the fans are defending them. I see a lot of fans though saying, you know, we lose. We win together. We lose together. We cry together. You know, all this stuff. Uh, we are Barca. But at the end of the day, man, like... Barcelona should not have taken it easy that day. I mean, they were... It, it, from the from the beginning of the game, it looked like they weren't... Uh, like, they didn't want to play or something. Like, they said, you know what? Just, we're winning 3-0. and oh, Just let time fly and blow the whistle, ref. Just blow the whistle, ref. End the game, you know? Shouldn't be like that. Even in uh, even if you are winning 2 nothing in second half, wink, wink, um, you should always... That second half, you should always be giving it your all. Um, so, yeah, I mean, Barcelona, I don't know what to say to Barcelona. I just don't like how they, uh, you know, when Barcelona loses, it's not Messi's fault. It's it's Coutinho's or Valverde's fault. Which, in, in a way, yeah, you can say it's their fault. But, honestly, it's the whole team's fault. Co from the coach to the goalkeeper to the forward. Everybody's at fault, you know. And, you know, for the fans, uh, I respect those who, you know, say we are Barca. We do, like, the whole, you know, that stuff, that, the, the, the stuff they say. That's cool and all, but they didn't play good. They just didn't play good. That's, that's not a Barcelona that, you know, back in the day, you know, when they had, um, you know, the what, what, what year was it? Maybe 2012, maybe? A good year for them? I don't know. When they had a good squad... A good, a, a pretty. Uh, I I guess when Papa Pepe Guardiola was 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 coach, maybe uh, that was a good Barcelona team. You know when they did these uh, with the Tiki Taka plays, man, that was good. That was good. You know that's, I don't know, this Barcelona. I don't know. They, I just felt like they got they were too overconfident. They didn't want to play. They didn't feel like playing or something. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe he should have played uh. Maybe it was the players. Maybe it was the maybe it was uh should have played some other players. He should have started some other players. You know they had other players that they that don't get enough minutes, but you know they should like Mike Mike Malcolm Malcolm. <laughs> um, who else? Who was their striker? Ah, oh, can't remember, man. I don't know. Arthur should have been playing from the beginning, maybe. 
put him in like second half to try to control things, but you know it was, it was too late. Too, it's too late. Liverpool, on the other hand, I like how. I mean, they lost to people who who had a team with their 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 benches. I mean, even uh, at the beginning, the first half. Uh, what's his name? Uh, Shakiri wasn't playing uh really well. He was he messed up like three three times. He he I thought they were gonna take him out, like coming in in the second half or at least in the second half, but they didn't. The coach, you know, he's like, I don't know, I'm not gonna give up on this guy. He's gonna he's gonna do something. <laughs> um, but yeah, Ogiri. I mean, he's not our usual starter. He does. I don't know how many. T- I I don't watch the Liverpool game, so I don't know if he uh gets that much playing time, but. I mean, he stepped up. He stepped up. He he did step up. He he said, you know what? I'm I may be a bench warmer. I may not be the first pick. I mean, compared to over Salah, but you know, this is my time to prove myself. And he did. Good job, man. Good job. You did awesome. That play with uh, what's his name? Alexander. I think that's his name. The defender, man. That 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 corner, man. I'm telling you, that that was that was a. Sick goal. That was a sick play. I'm, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> that was pretty cool. I liked that a lot. Um, that got me off the chair. I'm not gonna lie. I was gonna. I was like, maybe Messi's gonna do something. Like all they need is one goal. Messi's gonna do something. But you know, they played it smart. They said they didn't give Messi like enough space to be playing. They didn't give him a uh, enough like room for him to do some 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 crazy stuff. And that was good for the defenders, man. Uh, Van Dijic. Van Dijic? I can't pronounce names. I suck with pronouncing names, but good defender, man. United missed out on him. I think they were trying to get him a, a while ago. Maybe last year. Last season. And they didn't. They pulled out. Uh, but, but yeah, even though, the, you know what was surprising, though? That Messi had most of the uh, shots on goal. So, it's not like he didn't try. He, he did try, but, you know, you don't win games with with one player, you win games with eleven. Uh, that's that's how you win games, and you know that's how maybe Messi was back then was pretty unstoppable because he had you know Xavi and Iniesta, somebody who's accurate and someone who has good vision, giving them the balls, and you know that's what that's what makes up a team. And I, I know a lot of people back then said, "Oh, Messi's not nothing because he needs Xavi and Iniesta to uh, to give him." Good opportunities to score goals, but I mean that's that's football. Football is not played by one person. That's why I liked uh, Ronaldo back in United. He would like you know yeah he'd do like some little showboating, but he he would be passing the ball you know, and uh, that's why I like Ronaldinho. His magic his magic tricks. He makes some magic with the ball, but pass the balls. You know it's not all about you know it is about scoring, but sometimes when you're good at passing and when you're good at having vision like Ignacio and Chavi they understood that they they knew that and they said you know we're we're masters in this craft and we're gonna be passing it we're gonna be passing the ball we're gonna give it to this guy who can score goals good opportunity to score and you know honestly there was a lot of mess ups by you know hiccups by Jordi Alba you know these Sergi, Sergi Roberto they just can't do the Get get that ball too messy for him to do some goal scoring. So I don't know. Liverpool played more of a team. They they, they were trying. They gave. They were fighting for that. They were fighting. They were scratching and crawling out of that like three three and nothing lead, and they pulled. They they made it. They 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 got there, man. Damn it begins. <laughs> what do I say? All right, Ajax versus Tottenham. That was a good game. I'm not gonna lie. I saw the highlights for this. I couldn't see the game, so can't really uh. Give really good thoughts about it, but uh, yeah, what I saw was an early goal, two nothing. I mean, one nothing from the light or the lit. I call him the light, the lit. The captain, young captain, um, scored an early goal. Scored the second goal, still first half. So it ended the second. It ended two nothing in the first half, and then the second half is what was crazy, because. Um, my phone was blowing up with all the not- notifications and then somebody saying, somebody telling me, yo, this is a crazy game. <laughs> Someone was actually watching it. I didn't get to watch it, obviously, but, um, because of work, but, uh, but yeah, three, nothing by Lucas Mora. You know, what's crazy. Um, congrats to this guy, first of all, because 
Back in, back in what was it? 20, 2012, maybe? 2018. Back in, okay, so back in 2018, it was just like two years ago. I saw it. I saw it. He was, uh, he was pretty much sacked by PSG, sold for, they bought him for 50 million euros. And then they sold him to dollars, euros, I don't know. They bought him for 50 mil and they sold him to Tottenham for 30. So, uh, because I guess he didn't perform well in PSG or he didn't fit in or something. That's crazy. See, maybe sometimes in one team, you don't do, do so well, kind of like Coutinho is with Barcelona. But with other teams, you do so. You do pretty good. So, um, uh, Lucas Moda goes to P- to Tottenham and does this. He takes Tottenham to the finals by scoring a hat-trick and making an amazing comeback against Ajax. Yes, both my teams are out. The bo- both the teams I predicted would have won are out, Ajax and um, Barcelona. And honestly, they were saying Tottenham was the underdog of this game, which was crazy to me because I thought Ajax was the underdog for me. Um, I know, yeah, Ajax is fighting in first for uh, in the in the in their league, the the Netherlands league, um, Eredivisie or something like that. They're fighting for first with PSV, and they they just won the cup a couple like last week. Or two weeks ago, something like that, and yeah, they're pretty much at the top of their league, yeah, for sure in Netherlands. But and and Tottenham is like in fourth right now in the Premier League. They were in third, but just dropped down to fourth. But for me, that's a tougher league. Like I always say, everything depends on the league for me on the leagues. And Holland's league isn't on the top five for me in the top five of Europe's leagues. You know, and if I were to rank them, maybe I don't know where I would put them because there's still other leagues that I would probably consider more competitive than Holland's. But I don't know. That's just me. So, and then Tottenham is in, in, in the number one league for me. The Premier League is the toughest league for, that I think, in my opinion, out of all the leagues in Europe. So for them to be in like around the third and fourth area, you know, top four, top, top four there is... Pretty amazing. Those are pretty much strong teams for me. So, yeah, Tottenham, this is their first final in the Champions League. I get that. I understand that. And I don't know. Maybe Ajax has... Have have they won a Champions League? I don't know my history with Ajax, but... Um, I can always check that again and maybe say something about it in the next video, next soccer talk. But... I thought as Tottenham as a stronger team than Ajax. So, I don't know. That's just me. But I was going with Ajax because they were the, they had a younger squad. And I'm all about the young squads. I'm all about the younger guys. Um, I was just playing FIFA earlier today. And my team is made up of young squads. And I was just in the Champions League going up against Real Madrid. Um, this is FIFA 17. So Ronaldo was on Real Madrid. Um, this is the a good Real Madrid squad that I was going up against. And then we did just make a comeback. Yeah, it was group stage. It's group stage. So it doesn't really make a huge difference. But... I was losing one nothing, and then out of nowhere, I came back with three goals. So we made a comeback as well. <laughs> Team up of my best player is like rated eighty, and he's Tillman's. He's Tillman's, and he's like eighty one. Everybody else is like seventies and a couple sixties there. But yeah, we just made, we just like beat a good Real Madrid team, and. I made a comeback. So, I mean, the commentators even said this is a game that they were expected to lose. And nobody, everybody is surprised by this. Um, so, they, yeah, Anderlecht. Anderlecht is my team. I'm coaching Anderlecht right now from Belgium. And we beat uh, Real Madrid, the toughest team in our group. I don't know, good man. It's made up of young players. And, you know, they, they, they called us... Fearless, just like they, 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 that the commentators in real life called Ajax fearless. They're fearless, and I was going for them because, you know, they're made up of young players. I'm all about the young squad. So, um, yeah, disappointed, but, you know, whatever. Aggregate was 3 3, but with the away goals, Tottenham advances. So it's going to be Tottenham versus um, Liverpool, two English teams. And what's crazy is in the Europa League, it can also be two English Premier League teams. So England could be the first country to uh, have 
all finalists in Europe competition. Well, the European Cup, Europa League and Champions League. So that's crazy. That's awesome. I hope it happens. I hope Chelsea and Arsenal win their games. And which I think have good chances for it to happen because it's 1-3 with Arsenal ahead. Hopefully they are playing away, so hopefully they don't, you know, something happens like a crazy comeback by Valencia or something. And hopefully Chelsea can beat Frankfurt at Stamford Bridge. So hope, hope, hope. I don't want to, you know, jinx them though. I feel like I jinxed Barcelona and AJ. But I don't believe in all that superstition stuff. So they lost because they lost. <laughs> I wish I could have seen AJ for his time. That's the game I actually wanted to see the most. Um, just to see how Ajax played, I can't say much. I can't really say like if they played good or, or bad. I feel like they played well, and maybe in the second half, maybe they got tired or something. I don't know what happened. You know, maybe some inspirational stuff happened with uh, what's his name, Pochettini, Pochettino, Pochettini, the coach from Tottenham. Uh, maybe he said some words that were awesome. You know, like Liverpool made it, so can we. <laughs> I don't know. But that's crazy. We'll see what happens with Europa League. Um, as far as transfer talks, the only things I've heard I've seen is Manchester United willing to pay for Dybala a hundred mil for Dybala to leave Juventus. Not bad. And then another thing from Manchester United is that I think they gave Solskjaer ninety million for transfer budget, and he is already looking to rebuild um, the defense. Uh, he's looked at some defenders already, so that's a good thing. If he does only bring in four players, two of those have to be defenders. They have to rebuild that defense. And it's a good thing they got. Um, they might get Dybala, so not bad. Uh, he hasn't been doing well since Ronaldo came into Juventus from Real Madrid. So it's a good thing that he will leave. That's not, not so bad. I would probably do the same thing if I was him. Um, just to get more of a... You know, he's not getting enough... You know, if you're not getting enough play time, just just leave. Or if you're having like a not so well uh, season, Coutinho, you know, just leave the team, try somewhere else. Um, sometimes you don't fit in, sometimes you do. There's there's always that piece of advice. So I'm not that they're listening, but <laughs> if they are. I got you guys. <laughs> Hopefully, don't 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 take my word for it, for it. But but yeah, um, it's a good thing that Manchester United. I'm excited to have to you know. The ball is not so bad, you know. They, they could use another striker. So there's that. Uh, that's all I saw. So we'll see if anything else comes up. Uh, yeah, that's transfer news as well. So that's not so much, but uh, we'll see. Oh, and by the way, and, and then in, uh, for Premier League action, they're going to be having two Premier League titles. One where Liverpool will play and then one where Manchester City will play because... It's the last game, and anything can happen in football. As we saw in the Champions League, anything can happen. So we'll see who gets crowned Premier League champion. Liverpool, Man City. Um, I'm, I'm I'm obviously going for Man City, not because I, not because Liverpool beat Barcelona. I don't I don't care that you know I'm always. I I try to stay more biased because at the same time, yeah, I got like a little bit of a little like. Support more, a little bit more support for Manchester City. I, I, I like them more than... Well, because they're from Manchester as well. So, and I'm a United fan. Um, but, you know, I, I still... It doesn't matter who wins. Liverpool or Man City. It's still interesting to me. It's still cool. Exciting. So, either one can win. I, I, I don't really care. It's just a little bit more... You know, you know like putting 50, 51% to 49% that I want Manchester City to win. But again... The same thing that happened with Liverpool and Barcelona. Yeah, I had Barcelona as my number one pick, but in reality, it didn't really matter because I am a Madrista fan, I'm a Real Madrid fan. And then I started thinking in the game, like, wait, if Barcelona wins, then they're going to go to Madrid and probably win the Champions League. That doesn't look good. Wow, I'm hungry. It's better for Liverpool to win. So as soon as they scored that last goal, I was excited. <laughs> didn't get excited. Because at the end of the day, I probably would have wanted Ajax to win, like, you know, just Ajax because they are my favorite team from Netherlands, but it is what it is. It's not my my number one team is definitely going to be like Manchester United and Real Madrid over everybody. But you know, I still have a couple of teams I root for. You know, like a little bit more than the others. But at the end of the day, I am really not, you know, on somebody's side. You know, 
And I don't get like super angry, like you know, when Manchester United lost against Barcelona. I knew why they lost. <laughs> I knew it. So it was like, whatever, dude. Barcelona won, whatever. Like even then, Barcelona was still my number one pick. But yeah, that's it. All right, I'm blabbering too much. All right, that's it for soccer talk. Not much news. I just wanted to talk about the Champions League. You know, my opinions, what I thought, and what was going on behind the scenes and stuff. So there's that. Make sure to like, comment, share. Give me your thoughts. What did you guys think? What do you guys think about you know what happened in the games? I know people were already talking about it, and I saw so many reactions, so I'm probably not going to get that many here. Um, but yeah, I still want to know, you know, like, what, what do you guys think, like, with still the building process, the rebuilding process of Manchester United, if you guys care or not, or so should Barcelona, re, like, get a new coach? Should they get new players or something, rebuild their team, or what do you guys think? What do you guys think to, for, because this is Barcelona's second time leaving the Champions League. In a humiliating way. The last time was last year versus Roma. Happened once and it happened again this year. But what needs to change for Barcelona? You know, for them to pick up the wins again, for them to pick up like it's been a while since they haven't won a Champions League. I think it's been since like when Xavi and Iniesta won the team. So what needs to change for Barca to win? And good luck to Liverpool and Tottenham and Chelsea and Arsenal. I kind of want to see that. All English Premier team, League teams. You know, good luck to these guys from the final. Congratulations to Tottenham's first time. So, yeah. All right. That's it. No more talk. Cállate. I keep on talking. There's a lot of things I want to talk about. But, cállate.